I'm learning Mandarin now, so I know my main language goals for 2018 were to get my Japanese to a lower intermediate level and my Spanish up to an advanced level, but recently one of my friends really wanted me to take a Mandarin class with her for the upcoming fall semester, but I just can't fit any more classes into my work and class schedule that I already have. But since she really wanted me to take this class with her, I decided I'll do some self-studying, see if I even really like Mandarin, and go from there. And so far for these past two weeks that I've been studying, I'm really enjoying it so far, and it's not nearly as hard as I expected it to be. I know that I can't say, oh, Mandarin's an easy language when I've only been studying for two weeks. I know there's a lot I don't know, but it wasn't even hard to really get into, and I'm just really enjoying it so far. However, Spanish and Japanese are still my main goals, so I'm not going to study Mandarin all the time or nearly as much as those other two languages until I take my oral proficiency interviews for both of those because I really want to stay focused. So I do have a quick Japanese update. If you saw my last video, then you know I was doing a three-month challenge which I think it was really dumb that I started that challenge now that I think about it because a few weeks after I started it I had to go to Spain for one month for a study abroad program where the language I was mainly going to be focusing on was of course Spanish so I didn't end up continuing on with that challenge while I was there no matter how hard I tried I was just way too tired after all the classes and touring I was doing of Spain so now that I'm finally back from Spain and I've gotten settled in, I'm going to start that challenge over again because I thought it was really helpful and I was really liking all the things that I had to learn for the challenge. Um, and speaking of studying abroad in Spain, I do feel like my listening improved a lot, but my speaking not so much. That was really my own fault. I didn't take advantage of speaking to people in Spanish while I was there. Pretty much everyone in the group that I went with, they knew Spanish. We were all Spanish students, but we mostly spoke English with each other, except for one girl that was insistent on speaking Spanish with me. And I'm so grateful for her because without her, I probably would have spoken no Spanish, which is really sad. But like I said, that's my own fault. I could have forced myself to speak more Spanish with the locals and with the other people in my group. I just didn't. But now that I'm back, I definitely want to spend the next four and a half months before I take those oral proficiency tests speaking and really just tightening up some grammar that I'm having some issues with still. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So since I have added Mandarin into my language routine, well, the way I've been studying has changed a bit. But I don't want to share that with you all just yet because I do want to see if the routine I currently have is a good one before I just share it with everyone and then end up having to change my routine and making another video in a few weeks. So, see you in the next video.